I'm Tintin57, welcome back to the channel and some more Road Maintenance Simulator. In fact, this is part 10 now. So there's a couple of jobs so far that we've not covered in the series and I've just hopped into the office. This is one of those jobs, which is to align delineators. This time it's on the highway and it says, I really don't get how people can keep running into these things. In any case, crooked delineator posts were reported on the highway. It's time to get to work. Drive along this entire stretch of road and realign any crooked delineator posts. When you're done, return to the service yard and don't let me catch you dawdling. Right, so you can see uh, the highway is the outer road, sort of the sort of motorway, if you will, that we've seen quite a few times in this series. So let's pick up this job. It says take a vehicle. Right, so let's take, let's just open this gate first before we do anything. Then we don't have to hop out. So let's take a vehicle. Now we can take the truck that doesn't have the safety system. That might be, I think it's in this one. Let's just double check. Is this just the truck? Let's take this one, because this one's fairly nippy, as you've seen before. So it seems like there's quite a lot of these delineator posts to uh, to straighten up. We've we've done one job earlier in the series. In fact, it could have even been the last one we did. It could have been part nine, where we actually installed some new delineators. This time, we've got to get to ones that have been pushed over or hit or... Well, they're damaged in some way. They're not quite straight, so... Let's change to the outside view. We need to go left first. Let's just check the road. I think we can go on out. There we go. So we've got 11 delineators to repair or to uh, re-affix to the ground, as it were. In various places, we need to come on right here. This is where we go onto the highway itself. So normally when you do this, because I have done this um, off, off stream, if you will, they're usually in bunches of three. Let's see. Yeah, you see the first three coming up now, so let's pull over. This is the middle of the three. We've got the handbrake on. So we'll do this one first. So it's literally just a case of just clicking X, which will re-straighten them. Uh, and like the boss said when we picked up this job, I have no idea how these have become out of place. That's interesting. Looks like the, uh, the Jaguar there is... Uh, decided he wanted to come on the hard shoulder just exactly where we were which is quite interesting causing a bit of a jam but we'll be on our way soon anyway when we've done this third one so that's three out of eleven done right we'll we'll stop this chaos jump back in right we'll carry on now has that freed up everybody? Yes, it has. How strange. I wonder why he tried to uh, turn in where we were. Because we weren't actually parked on the highway. Now everybody's flying past again, you see. So, on to the next bunch of three. So there's been a couple of patches for this, um, very small patches released, I think we're on version 1.02 right now, uh, and those are on the other side aren't they, okay. Um, not clear to me yet what was patched, certainly there was no new content added to the game, I've not noticed anything new, so I'm assuming there were just some bug fixes uh, for things that I wasn't quite aware of yet, uh, but that's fine. If there are bugs in the game, 
it's a good sign that they're being patched. Oh, there's a there's a car going into the barriers. That's not good. He was someone who sped past us just earlier on as well. Uh, now this is strange. We've done this before as well, haven't we? We've got to do a U-turn, and we've got to go back over the bridge to get to the other side of the uh, the motorway. So let's just do that. So, as I said right at the beginning, we've got this job, we've got another job to do. Which I think is to cordon off, um, it's either to cordon off a work area or clear a work area. I just need to check my uh, notes on that one. Um, and then, that will be an example complete of every job there is in the game. So, to complete the game, if you're going for the Platinum Trophy... I think you repeat the jobs three times because there are three locations in the game uh, and you must complete the set of jobs three times so that, that will make up the 30 uh, the 30 missions that there are in the game um, after that there are some other trophies to get for things like complete 50 jobs complete 75 jobs complete 100 jobs so that will be a case of just repeating again and just staying in the game just repeating until you get those trophies so as far as content goes we've pretty much covered it once we've done the next video so as we said right at the beginning of the first look this is not a this is not a major title this is a game that's you know just over 20 odd pounds it's a bit of fun it's quite interesting but it is quite easy to complete uh, and if you're collecting trophies you've seen the trophies are quite easy you just basically need to complete you know, the first the first half of the trophies y you get a trophy for every job that you complete so there's nothing too serious about that either you know you can easily boost your trophy list or um, on Xbox your achievements for example just by playing this And it's not a game where we'd sit and play for hours in one session. It's not that type of game. So I'll leave that down to you. But I, I would recommend it. Yeah, it's something different. And if you like simulators like me, then there are not many of them around. And, uh, you know, this one, this one ticks a box to a certain extent. I think it's worth the price that it is on sale for. Any more would have been, you know, if it, if it was above 30, 30 pound, it would have been a bit, a bit too expensive for what it is. Um, the other thing that's not clear is whether or not anything will be added to this, content-wise, at a later date. Got no information at all on that one, so we'll just have to wait and see on that. If if there is, I will of course bring that to the channel. So for now it looks as if we're going back towards the depot, I would say. We may pass the depot just here. And uh, then we're going to the other side to pick up the next set. We've done 6 out of 11. So this is a fairly straightforward mission. Here's the depot on the right hand side. Whoops, we've got to watch that oncoming traffic. Fairly easy mission. We don't need any equipment for this. We just need the truck. We didn't need to start marking out the road with the uh, bases and traffic lights and whatnot this is purely a maintenance job let's just check the road and we're going straight across go into the cab for a little bit Thanks everybody, by the way, for watching this series, a, a pretty pretty, uh, pretty well followed series, so I appreciate that. Thank you for all those likes you've given me as well for these videos. So we should be completing this soon, um, but coming up in, in May, from middle of May, 
Um, if you're interested, we will have tourist bus simulator coming to the channel. I also think once the PS5 version of SnowRunner is released, I may go back to SnowRunner as well. So keep your eye out for that if that's something you're interested in. So here's the first set. This is the equivalent set of where the Jag tried to uh, tried to ram us. So let's see if we get a similar thing. Oh, and indeed, a car has just stopped. That's bizarre. Let's get these done and then we can get out of the way. We don't want to cause anybody any trouble. We're here to uh, put the delineators back straight. Not cause any accidents. Just one more here. And then we've got the last set. That's that one. The road's pretty quiet, to be honest. Right, so let's get underway. There's a little golf going past, you can hear it buzzing like a fly before it uh, actually comes past us. I'm putting real world names to these cars as you've probably uh, realised. That was the golf, we had the Jag Saloon earlier. Um, however, I'm sure it's the developer's intention to uh, not, apart from these trucks which are licensed trucks, I'm sure it's the developer's intention to not have identifiable make some models of car for uh, copyright purposes but uh, they can't help looking like what they look like and we should be coming off here but this guy might come off with us we'll just have to watch out in case he suddenly they have a knack of just turning in let's see what he does i'll just hang back he may be going straight on yeah he is but nobody's crashed into that barrier this time So this looks like a mirror image of the one we did before because we've got to go back onto the other side of the motorway by doing a very dangerous U-turn. So this shouldn't take us long. We've got three, three to do. Two to do, sorry. We've done nine, haven't we? We've just got two to do. Then we're back to the depot. That should finish this job. Coming very fast around here. Doing, doing nearly 100 kilometres per hour there. So here's our final two. Let's stop and jump out. one it's back to the depot so park the vehicle in its assigned spot so we're gonna have to drop it back in its garage again probably quite a decent drive back to the depot I would imagine from where we are now Let's see. You can see on the mini map, you can see the little exclamation mark where the depot actually is. But I think it's taken us a long way around. So as you know, this is it's basically uh, an oval shaped map. This this highway runs the complete circumference of the of the whole map, pretty much. So wherever we go, we'll end up back where we started. And it looks as if we are, are we coming off at this junction. I 
think we're coming off here. Possibly going back over that bridge. Yep. It's the depot's off to our left. So we'll take this exit. Go back to an outside view for this part. So those two little patches may um, actually, the only, I mean the only bugs we've seen in this series are, we've seen the uh, the AI causing crashes and blocking the road, we, we had that didn't we in one of the episodes, could be for things like that, I've certainly not noticed anything else unless they've gone back and fixed the visuals as well on the mission for touring the road. If you watch that episode, you'll see that although we tied the road successfully, visually it looked exactly the same as it did once we'd finished before we started. So you couldn't actually tell by looking at it that it had been re -tarmacked. And I've not done, I've not repeated that job since then. So I'd be interested to know whether that was fixed. But you know, we're just guessing. They were only a couple of hundred meg each, the patches. So you know, they weren't anything certainly weren't anything major so there's probably just a few niggles here and there they wanted to fix that players had reported so the depot is just around this bend just wait for this traffic to clear And we'll get this truck back in its garage, which is ready and waiting as we left it. And there we go. Excellent. So we can close this up. And that was the mission to realign the delineators. So thanks again for watching. Hope you enjoyed that and uh, you're enjoying the series. We've probably got, as I mentioned, we've probably got about one episode left in the series, I would say, and that's all the jobs covered. So I hope you'll join me for that one. That one will be out very shortly. Until then, take care, everybody. Thanks for coming in. Talk to you again soon. Bye for now.